find my blog at studioabse.blogspot.com and I'm on the color art design team where there's free tutorials daily. We're prepping for a very special event right now and I'll give you those details at the end of this video. My personal taste in videos is don't talk all day and let's get started. But I do have some things to tell you about Love Summer Arts. Uh, this is our first collaboration. A lot of times it's hard to find us artists on YouTube because we're often lumped into categories with education or do it yourself. So if you're looking for art and craft type things, then do a search on YouTube for hashtag Love Summer Art. As successful as this has been already, I'm sure you'll see more in the future. What you see above is a collection of the napkins that I've wiped paint brushes or, or extra paint from the table on. And I, I just can't bear to throw all that beautiful paint away. There's a lot of shimmer in the color arts projects. What you see in the background here behind the Mod Podge that I'm going to be using is a canvas that I've painted with spray paint. And that's just the extra spray paint that was in the can. I was a, it was too little to save and too much to throw away. It's always too much to throw away for me. So I'm going to use this canvas that I covered with odd end spray paint. And we'll make a collage today using some Mod Podge to uh, attach those to this canvas. I do plan to to incorporate some other uh, scrap papers that I had around, like some old napkins. Uh, these napkins are printed napkins that are still in good shape. I haven't wiped up paint with them. Or some tissue paper, or some old doilies, or just whatever happens to be at hand. Any scrap that you want to use. Here's a pile of things that I may or may not use. Some tissue paper. It'd be a whole lot easier to do my housekeeping in the studio if I didn't fall in love with the trash. But that's me. I'm a mixed media artist and I'm always going to be looking for things to make something out of that other people would throw away and discard because I also am sympathetic to environmental issues. I'm going to start by laying a layer of Mod Podge on top of this canvas so that it can begin to dry just a little bit because that helps it, the papers adhere, especially if they're papers that have you know thickness to them because the paint has has collected in certain areas. I use a broad brush with a nice uh, thick layer of Mod Podge. I'm voicing over this because I know that it gets boring when people have to watch paint dry. I, so here I'm putting on my first layer of paper towel and if you'll notice when I get it wet it starts to unravel so I can position it and rearrange it and pull it apart. It sure is hard on the manicure, but that's okay. I, I love getting my hands in the art. It's really hard on me to wear rubber gloves. I have a real hard time doing that. So I always try to do my messy projects just before I go into the nail salon. And here I'm just laying on randomly colors that I think would look good. Not really worrying about what's in the background. Just lay it down, put it on, Mod Podge on top of it layer it over each other. I kind of am thinking at this point that I want to leave the area in the middle light, but I know that when I make decisions early on or fall in love with something early on, that is really bad because then it's hard to go over it later on. So I never make myself do what I set out to do. Usually what's in my mind is not what comes out on the canvas, but I'm usually satisfied in the end, somewhat satisfied. I don't know if we're ever completely satisfied with our art as artists. We're always trying to get better. But if I just let things flow, let the creativity go, and just, just play with things, that seems to be my best art. The dye in the tissue paper will often bleed. So that is actually an asset when you're doing collage because it helps blend things together. Now some of the color arts projects that I did have twinkling H2O's and various paints that are meant to move when they get wet again so that will react also with each other but some of these uh, some of the paints that I used are not paints that will run and bleed. So you just lay on the colors and the uh, layers and see what happens and sometimes when you go back over them that's when you get the blending time. It doesn't look like I'm getting too much blending from this uh, bright fuchsia color yet, 
but I have used it in the past and I know that it bleeds, so it's, it's going to bleed over. Oh, there it goes. It's bleeding over and giving me some uh, blending there. And I really like this napkin, and as I said, don't fall in love with things that you do early, because I'm putting this on early, and I'll probably end up covering up, it up at the end. I should know better. If I love something, I should retain it for the end. At this point, I have some light and some dark areas going, which is a good thing. I need some contrast in this, um, but I'm going to keep adding layers and see how it looks and what I like. You're going to notice here that I use a pouncing motion to stick the paper towels down with. Uh, they're thin and they break apart easily, so if you kind of like what you have together there and don't want to break them up, you need to pounce it. It also helps uh, the paper adhere to the canvas. This is not by any means finished, but I'm going to stop and let it dry and I'll make a part two to go with this video. I promised to tell you what was going on over at Color Art on July 31st, and it's an altered shoe blog. The first ever design team for Color Art is a very talented group, so it's going to be an amazing show. I just can't wait to see what everyone's done. I hope you'll join us. Go over to colorart.com forward slash blog and find out how to get to our blog hop. We have a Color Art Facebook page and a brand new Color Art Paint studio Facebook page where you can hang out with the design team and post your own works. And if you are an artist who happens to make videos, hey, I'm new at YouTube. It's very new for me, so don't be afraid. Come and join us. Cinnamon Cooney explains on this video exactly how hashtag Love Summer Arts works. Don't forget to watch my part two of Use Paper Towel Collage. I hope you'll hit the subscribe button so we can become art friends. Thank you for watching.